this session is all about keyboard shortcuts and we'll cover a number of different keyboard shortcuts and project shortcuts in no particular order. So what I'd like to start on are the shortcuts for navigating around your timeline. First of all, the home key on your extended keyboard will take you to the head of the clip. The end key will take you to the end of the clip. Home key, end key. You can move around your clip by pressing the space bar to play or you can use the J, K and L keys. Now the J, K and L keys are brilliant in the respect that every video editing package that I know of uses these as their transport tools. The L key plays single speed. Pressing the L key a second time doubles that speed and a third time doubles that speed again and so on. The K key stops the action. It stops the play. The J key does exactly the opposite of the L key. It plays in reverse. So one depression will go at normal speed reverse, second depression faster, third depression double that, etc. Now the J, K and the L keys work in both the timeline and the event library. Currently I'm in the event library and I'm pressing the L key, K key and J key. So J to go back, K to stop, L to play forward, double that speed, double that speed, stop. The next keys have been discussed already in the editing sessions, but I think they're worth considering again. Let's look at editing a clip from the event library into the timeline. So I can select the frame that I want to start on and press the I key as an input and then hover to the frame that I want to stop the capture at and press the O key. I can now press the E key to extend that footage into the timeline at the end of the current clips or by pressing the W key wherever the playhead is parked that clip will be inserted and then finally there is the Q key which will take the selected footage in the event library and it will put it on top of the other clips in the normal timeline wherever the playhead is placed. The key to this is that the W and the Q key rely upon the playhead location. The E key always puts the footage at the end of the clips that are currently in the timeline. Tied in with these transport keys is if you are in a clip and you want to go to the edit point to the left of wherever the playhead is, press the colon key and you'll see it's moved to the left, the colon key to the next edit, the colon key again to the next edit and so on. Now the parenthesis key, that's the bunny ears key, will move the playhead to the next edit point to the right. So there's the playhead move there and again and again. So they're tied in with the home and the end keys. Now if you're playing through a clip, you're going through at real time. If you want to go through at much more detailed, then use the arrow keys. The right hand arrow key will move one frame at a time. So if we're on this frame here and press the arrow key, you can see that it's moving one frame forward at a time. And the left hand arrow key is moving one frame back at a time. In the timeline, if you want to add a keyframe to change the audio levels. You can hold the option key down and click and you get a keyframe. Click again and you get a keyframe. Now, as a little tip, always put in four keyframes. 
because you need at least two to make a change and then the other two complete that. So we can drop that down. So this is starting the change, that's ending the change. It's now running at that volume level. This is starting the change back and that's ending the change back. While we're in the timeline and we're looking at option key, if you use the option F key, you will get a still frame of wherever the playhead was parked. And what any still frame can be extended indefinitely. There is no audio brought in a keyframe. When you move the playhead to an edit point, you'll notice that it tends to jump magnetically to that edit point. If you want to avoid that magnetic jump, you can use the N key, which turns off that snapping function, and you can see that it smoothly runs through those, those clips now. Clicking the N key turns the snapping back on again. So it will snap to this location. If we have the N key off, it just moves past that location. Command Z does the previous operation. It's shortcuts and will cover a number of different keyboard shortcuts and project shortcuts in the edit menu, undo. If we want to put a transition in at an edit point, use the command T key and that will put a cross dissolve in at that location. So if we click here, there's the cross dissolve. Remembering on a transition, you can double click it and that will give you the ability to change the duration or you can right click and you'll get the precision editor so that you can edit those points. If you want to slow-mo a clip, click on the clip and use Command R. And when you bring the speed controls up with Command R, you then can make it slower by dragging it to the right, and there's the turtle. Or you can make it faster by dragging it to the left, and now you're going quicker than real time. That's the hair. When you're at an edit point, if you want to change the length one frame at a time, use the arrow key above the decimal point, and you can see that's moving it one frame at a time to the right. Or using the left arrow key above the comma, moves it one frame to the left. So the arrow keys work this way. Standard arrow keys move the, the playhead. And the other two arrow keys, that's the ones above the comma and the decimal point, move the clip. So you're actually moving the clip here to the right or moving the clip to the left. And if you're on an edit point, it will move it one frame at a time to the left or to the right. If you have a clip in the timeline and you're not too sure where that clip is in the event library, you can use the shift and the F key and that will open up in the event browser the in and the out points representing the clip that you selected. So if I select this clip here and go shift F there are the in and out points that represent that clip in the timeline. Now this will go to whichever event that the clip came from. So if you've actually imported footage into the timeline from a different event, then it will change and show you in that event itself. Of course, we can copy and paste clips. We can cut clips and finally a shortcut that you'll find useful in all circumstances in the timeline the command and the plus key will zoom into wherever the playhead is and the command and the minus key will zoom out so you're seeing less detail and more of the clip 
and Command plus to zoom in. Command minus to zoom out. If you want to put a marker in the timeline so that you can refer to that location later, say I want to come back to this location uh, after I've checked on a title further down the clip, I can press the M key and a little blue marker appears and as you move to that marker you'll notice that it just increases in size a little. So that I can now move to the head of the clip, look at my title that I want to copy, copy the title, and then move up to where the marker is further down the clip. There's the marker. And I can paste the title in at the position that I marked. <laughs>